hello viewers in today's class we are going to take up one important uh, conceptual problem in uh, limits right so here uh, we have to evaluate one important uh, limit that is limit x tends to 3 x over uh, greatest integer x right so here we have the greatest integer function and uh, uh, in order to evaluate this limit or to decide whether the limit exists or not uh, we have to uh, find uh, the left hand limit and the right hand limit right so uh, let us uh, start and let us uh, first find uh, the uh, right hand limit so we denote the right hand limit by RHL and uh, uh, the point of consideration is 3 so here we have limit x tends to uh, 3 and here we have a positive sign and x over uh, greatest integer x right now uh, we'll make a substitution here and we'll substitute x is equal to 3 plus h where h is a very very small quantity but uh, greater than 0 right so as uh, x tends to uh, 3 then uh, h tends to uh, a 0 right so uh, here we have uh, uh, we are substituting uh, x is equal to 3 plus h because we have to find the right hand uh, limit and uh, h is greater than uh, 0 but very very small right so uh, this substitution uh, reduces this expression as uh, uh, RHL is equal to limit H tends to 0 and here we have uh, 3 plus H and in the denominator we have uh, greatest integer 3 plus H. Now uh, let us see what is the value of uh, uh, greatest integer 3 plus H. Now uh, by the definition of uh, greatest integer function uh, this is uh, greatest integer 3 plus h is the greatest integer less than or equal to uh, 3 plus h right and suppose uh, we take h is equal to say uh, 0 0.01 because h is greater than 0 then the value of uh, uh, this expression is 3 plus 0 0.01 and that is equal to greatest integer 3.01 right okay so now the value of greatest integer uh, 3.01 is equal to 3 and due to the definition of uh, greatest integer function right so here we uh, have just taken an example uh, to illustrate the value of uh, uh, this expression by taking h is equal to 0 0.01 right so now we have limit h tends to 0 here we have 3 plus h and in the denominator now we'll have uh, uh, 3 right okay so now h tends to 0 makes this expression as 3 plus 0 over 3 by putting h equal to 0 here so 3 plus 0 is 3 3 over 3 that is 1 right so the right hand limit of uh, this function is 1 and now uh, let us find out the uh, left hand limit right now uh, the left hand limit is denoted uh, denoted as uh, RHL so here we have limit uh, x tends to 3 and here we'll put a negative sign and we have x over greatest integer x right so this uh, negative sign indicates that we are approaching uh, from those values uh, which are less than uh, 3 and in this case uh, the positive sign shows that we are approaching towards 3 uh, which are uh, the values are greater than uh, 3 right so again we'll uh, make a substitution here and let x is equal to 3 minus h and again h is greater than 0 and h is a positive quantity but very very small right okay so as uh, x tends to 3 uh, obviously h tends to 0 so now uh, rhl it becomes uh, limit 
h tends to 0 and for x we have uh, 3 minus h and in the denominator we have uh, uh, greatest integer 3 minus h right now again to decide the value of uh, this expression that is greatest integer 3 minus h we can uh, take uh, this value say h is equal to 0 0.01 so the value of uh, uh, 3 minus h greatest integer 3 minus h is equal to uh, greatest integer 3 minus 0 0.01 and uh, and this is equal to greatest integer 2.99 right and uh, by the definition of greatest integer function uh, the greatest integer less than or equal to 2.99 so here we have uh, 2 right so now therefore uh, the left hand limit uh, is equal to a limit h tends to 0 and uh, here we have 3 minus h and in the uh, denominator we have uh, 2 and making h equal to 0 so we have 3 minus 0 over 2 that is 3 over 2 right so the left hand limit of uh, uh, this function when x approaches to 3 is uh, 3 over 2 right so viewers uh, uh, this is how we can find out the right hand limit and the uh, left hand limit but here we draw an important conclusion uh, we see that the uh, right hand limit is uh, 1 and the left hand limit is uh, 3 over 2 and although uh, both the uh, limits right hand limit and left hand limit exist and they are finite but uh, the right hand limit is not equal to uh, left hand limit and uh, this uh, gives us the result that uh, the limit uh, when x tends to 3 of this function uh, does not exist.